Hi everyone, it's Jen Sheffer and this is a video tutorial on how to use Finder on your MacBook Air. Finder is located here in the dock, it's on the left hand side, and you will notice there is that little black dot underneath Finder because it's one of those applications that's built into the MacBook and it's always running. You're not actually going to be using it very often, but I do want to give you an overview of what you can find in Finder and what you will be using. So when you click on it, you're going to notice here on the left hand side, the first thing we have is AirDrop. If you're familiar with AirDrop, it allows you to instantly share photos or videos with other people who have Apple devices. So whether that, those be iPads or phones, if you click here that you are discoverable by everyone, um, that would allow your students, if they have AirDrop turned on on their iPads, they can AirDrop photos onto your Mac now, which you may find uh, a need for that. It's very convenient. If you take pictures from an iPhone and you want to share them on your Mac um, through AirDrop, you can do that now. So that's really quick and easy. That was not something that we could do when we had Chromebooks. So this is a nice feature. The next thing we have here in Finder are recents. So your recent files will be added to this area. Again, we want to be living in Chrome. So we want to move anything that we're creating into our Google Drive. Um, and not keeping it on our desktop and, and not keeping it on our actual MacBook Air. Applications is next and I will be covering applications in a separate video. Um, next we have our desktop and again, I have nothing on my desktop right now because I've been moving everything into Drive or uploading it to YouTube or putting it in the trash because I want to keep my desktop clutter free and I want to continue to live in Google Drive. Next are documents, and again, my documents folder is empty because everything is in Drive. All of um, my daily activities and tasks are completed in either Google Docs or Google Slides. I work in Calendar, I work in Forms, Google Sheets, everything that I access is in Google. So it's not really um, common or necessary that you'll see anything here in documents. But what you will see and what I want to point out are the downloads area. So if you download something from, um, say you're working in a Google slide and you want to download a slide as a JPEG, all these YouTube cover slides, that's exactly what these are. A lot of my video tutorials I have in downloads. So if you find something, um, if you have a PDF that gets downloaded or there's an email attachment that you download, this is where you will find your downloads in Finder. Let me just give you a quick practical example of how this might work in a real life teaching situation. Here I am in Seesaw. I'm just going to back up for just on one screen. I'm going to quickly delete and start over. So I'm in a activity, a new activity. And if I come to this slot, this page in the activity where I need to upload a file to that activity, I can click on upload. If you're saving everything to Google Drive, which you will continue to do, you can select from Drive or if you instantly downloaded something, you want to pull it from your computer, you'll click on downloads and you can upload whatever it is, an image or a PDF or a, a movie file. If you made a QuickTime video for your students, you would upload it from your computer from that download section. So again, I'm going to just open Finder. Um, I don't really use these tags here. Um, if we were actively using um, this for, rather than Google Drive, we might want to get a little bit more in depth with this, um, but we're not. We're going to stay in Drive, but again, the downloads folder is something that you should be familiar and aware of. That's um, the area where your files will be downloaded. These buttons up here, um, just allow us to change the look of our um, items in our various folders. So this is, look here is going to give me a thumbnail list. This is going to give me just the straight lines. Um, this will push it to the left-hand side. This would give me a preview and give me the specs of that document. Um, and then you can also search by the name, the kind of file, so on and so forth. But again, just keeping it simple and sticking with what we know and what we um, love, and that would be Google Drive. But uh, again, your downloads are here, 
and as you continue to create materials for your students in Seesaw or Nearpod or whichever tools you're using, um, hopefully this has been helpful in knowing how to do that. If you have any questions about Finder, please don't hesitate to reach out to me or any member of the BPS EdTech team, and thank you so much for watching.